Welcome to Jack University. Today's word that we're gonna talk about is blanching. Now blanching is the process of steaming or boiling vegetables to retain their texture, color, and freshness before you freeze them. And you're saying, well, why would I wanna freeze vegetables? Good question. See this bag right here? Let's say this bag's on sale. These are bagged fresh. These are raw Brussels sprouts, okay? And they're a dollar a bag, so I buy 10 of them. Well, I'm not eating them in the next week or so, and they're all gonna go bad. So I wanna freeze them and use them for later. Well, you have to blanch them first. You don't have to, but it's advised that you blanch your vegetables before you freeze them for later use. So I'm gonna teach, hey Johnny, sit back, back row. Yeah, one more word out of you, you're getting attention. Okay, so if you guys are ready, I'm gonna show you the steps, it's real simple on how to blanch your vegetables. Down below, I've got a big chart of all the top vegetables and how long their blanching times are. All right, let's do this. Okay, so here's what you need. You need your Brussels sprouts or whatever vegetable you're using. You need an ice water bath. There you go. And you need a pot of boiling water. Okay, pour your vegetables into the water. Now you're gonna time this. This takes three minutes for this size Brussels sprout. So we're gonna give that three minutes. Then once it's done, we're gonna quickly dump it into the ice bath. Okay, I got a few more seconds. Get ready to take these out and get them in an ice bath. There we go, timer off, turn your flame off, and just start scooping these right in your ice bath. You wanna stop the cooking right away. Look how beautiful and green they still are. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now once the, the vegetables are cold and the process has stopped the cooking, take this back over to the sink and drain it in here. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do is put a towel down I'm gonna dump them out here, just gently. Dump all my veggies out. Try to keep them on the towel. There we go. And just let them kind of dry out just for a moment. Get our ice cubes out. There we go. The reason why I'm trying to get most of the water out is I don't want a bunch of ice in with my vegetables. They're not fully cooked, but they've got their color, they've got their strength, they're nice and firm, and when I bring them back out to finish off cooking them, they're gonna be awesome. So let's get these in the bag. And then you stick it in an airtight freezer bag, push all the air out of it, and you're good to go. These will last for a couple months in the freezer. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next Jack U.